Hey, I'm Ethan with Eddie Line. We just returned from our Paddle Sports Retail Show, which is where we show everything for next year. At the show, a variety of folks asked me, oh, we're looking at a few thermal form lines. What's the uh, difference here with Eddie Line? And I thought maybe we just go through quickly a few things that I think Eddie Line does different than some of the other thermal form lines out here. Eddie Line has been thermal forming kayaks since 1996. What thermal forming is, is we are taking a hard sheet of acrylic capped ABS and heating it up and forming it into a shape, both a deck and a hull of a kayak. We've learned over many years how thick to make that sheet so that we can draw nice sharp entry lines here and give nice sharp concavity, which just has a nice wave peeling off of it. Go too thin, you can have breaks. Um, go too heavy duty and you don't get all the benefits. In Eddy Line, over 20 years of doing this, we've figured it out. Each boat has an individually specced sheet. As you look down the length, you'll also see the high quality of the sheet material. You're not going to see ripples or different gradations in the material's quality. In addition to using the proper material for hull and deck, the major linchpin of thermoforming is how you seam those two pieces together. Eddy Line uses essentially a shoebox seam. So something to pay attention when you're looking at thermoforming boats is how well is that overlapped? How much contact area do they have here for the chemical fusion to take place? And I think what you'll see when you look down the length of an eddy line, there's pockets here. These are all reservoirs for us to use our fusing agent so that this can chemically bond. And we have a nice thick seam. And that's something that you can look at as you're shopping for thermal form boats and see the attention to detail that eddy line uses in their seaming. So Eddie Line started our thermal forming process years ago, building the cockpit combings and our seats out of thermal form material. That's when the light bulb went off that we could do boats. So over 20 years, we've learned some great things about this combing. One of the benefits of a thermal form boat in general is that you have this nice aggressive combing. This is gonna give you great skirt grab and keep your skirt from imploding. It's one of the challenges of rotationally molded boats is that it's hard to get a good skirt bite. Eddy Line uses a real nice thick material here. And one thing that you wanna point out is to see how thick an overhang that is right there so that you're getting that nice aggressive bite. So as I'm looking at other uh, thermal form models on the market, I oftentimes look at that point. Also, always look at the smoothness of finishing here. Your feet, your legs can oftentimes even rub against this area as you're exiting or entering the kayak. And so this is an area that Eddy Line pays a lot of attention to. It's always smooth. I'm a Minnesota boy and I love canoes, but one of the great things about a kayak is how many points of contact your body can make with it, which is control in rough water and control when you're trying to learn any of the advanced types of strokes. So Eddy Line pays attention to all eight points of contact. First, up here in the foot braces, we use Select Designs foot brace, some of the highest quality foot braces on the market. The pedal cannot come off the track, is easily adjusted, easily locks back into place. It's also really comfortable in any type of footwear from barefoot to sh uh, water shoes. Thigh braces. All the Eddie Line models have a different fit in the thigh braces, but Eddie Line pays a lot of attention. We have great padding under here, no sharp points. And we think at Eddie Line that each model really represents a different fit. In fact, we start with every kayak design as who is going to be paddling this boat. And we add the type of fit features in the thigh braces for that. Hip pads. This is one that I think a lot of manufacturers miss. And even in a recreational model, being able to edge your boat makes turning so much easier. And having contact right here with Eddy Line's hip pads is great. Some co uh, companies actually have no region here padded whatsoever, which if you're not trying to do any type of leaning is fine. But one of the benefits of kayaking is wearing the boat. And that comes in a large part by your hips. Right here, you'll notice that you can also add foam behind here or a neoprene shim and make even a tighter fit. You'll hear a lot of Advanced paddlers talk about their hip contact in the boat. It's the key for edging or even eventually a roll. And if you're just a beginner doing recreational, it's just a nice fit to take some of the pressure off of your back and your legs by having your hips make contact too. Eddy Line pays a lot of attention to this region. Eddy Line uses a dual density foam backrest or easily interchangeable with our back band is another option for customizable fit. We have five height adjustments so that you can get it to hit your back in a perfect spot. And we also have forward lean adjustment with this strap right here. And of course, the last point of contact is our rear. Eddy Line uses a nice neoprene pad here that has nice tracking channels to get water out of it. But also, Eddy Line takes a little extra attention and uses removable uh, screws here so that if you ever wanted to add more padding or remove and add your own gel seat, you can. Just another little attention to detail that Eddy Line has learned over the years of experience. 
All right, now we're gonna lift the hood a little bit here and look at some of the differences that Eddie Line has learned over the years with our bulkheads and our hatches. Eddie Line does an excellent job of installing their bulkheads and using a bulkhead that has a nice thick I-beam flange on the inside for lots of contact to ensure dryness and structural integrity. As we lift, lift the hood of the boat here and look at the bulkhead, this is a very important structural part of your kayak and also ensures dryness for open water safety when we put bulkheads both bow and stern. Also, uh, looking at the workmanship here, you're not going to see smears, fingerprint smears, a very clean installation. It is one of those places where you can tell that Eddie Line's craftsmen have been at it for many, many years. Eddie Line is using select design hatches for the bow and stern. These are nice plastic topped with a really nice aggressive rubber rand on the inside for a dry and secure fit. As you run your hands around the inside of the seam, again, no sharp points, just something to look at. Years ago, when we built <laughs> years ago, years ago on our composite boats and some of our early thermoform boats, Eddie Line used a flush hatch that was made out of the same material as the kayak, and it would have straps over here to secure. And you'll see that in some thermoform boats on the market. One of the problems with that is it really depends how tightly you strap it. Too tight and you push down in the center here and it can actually lift up the outside. Too loose and of course it's not going to be watertight. We find that with a rubber select designs hatch, it's either on or off. Now we're just looking at some of the features that Eddie Line does after the boat is built. Our carry handles have a retractable feature to them. If you're trying to take photos, videos, sneak up on wildlife, this is not going to be banging against the boat. It's nice and quiet. And this is actually a nice point to do either a bow and stern line, or also if you wanted to lock quickly, this is a nice point for that. When it comes to rear and deck bungees, you're going to find those on all of our boats. Great for just quick storage of items. Um, also, on our shorter recreational boats, we do a partial perimeter line so that if you're in the water, you can either be holding on to the combing or here or up on the handle. On our longer touring models, we do a full perimeter line. It's something that you might not think about day one, but if you start taking classes down the road, you're going to want those perimeter lines to help assist in re-entry that most people don't know about, but I absolutely love. Nick and I do a lot of cleaning of our boats. We have a boat half full of water, we're swooshing it around, and then we tip to dump. The deck styling here that Eddie Line uses offers structural integrity. It looks great, but one thing that it really does is it channels the water to come right off the crown of the forward combing here and right off the side. When you're draining and cleaning your boat, you will not get that extra liter of water that then ends up going down your neck, shoulder, or arms because of the way that they consider designing that deck. It's a little known thing. You'll appreciate years later. It's hard to notice on the sail shelf, but take it from us. These boats are way easier to drain and clean. I think we're gonna get some lightning and rain right now. Of course, what's gonna really make the decision for you when you test paddle some boats is how does it feel? I think you can research the numbers all you want, but the eureka moment is it just felt right. Eddie Line's hull designs have come from years and years of experience. In the Equinox here, we're using a multi-chine with a nice shallow V, very sharp exits and ent uh, entry and exit lines. That's going to be your tracking. The shallow V gives you a nice initial point of stability, but also invites you to start playing with that 15 degree edge turns. And also, once you lean it up to this point, the boat's going to stiffen up. So as you look at the thermal form material here, and you look at other competitors, I like to just kind of get a feel of it. Does it give you the stiffness that's such a nice feeling on the water? Does it have the nice sharp entry lines? How are they doing this, the shapes that they're trying to mold? Eddy Line's oven was specifically designed for our kayaks, and over the years, we've learned how to do it. <laughs> 